make a section eight house to a reefer house. Yes, me and Mike might use the ball at the pass. Might have a couple babies in the yeah, I'ma give you niggas a piece of me on this one. DT, nigga. Let you see who the fuck I am. Where the fuck I come from. I ain't never talked about this shit ever. Ever. On, on camera, on none of that shit. I ain't trying to get on off my brother. I ain't trying to get on off a slap. It's just. A lot of shit, a lot of shit been said about this and about that. Niggas, niggas thinking they know this, know what's going on. Truth be told, a lot of niggas don't know shit. But them same six niggas that was in this clique together, that woke up together, they got it in together, they grinded together and made this music happen. So man been there how long? Man been there now, now, gonna be two years. Two years. Yeah. Right. And y'all still feel the impact from him gone. You can't, you can't never forget it. His, his impact was too big. He is so hard. He made her so hard. He made her so hard what it is. He was the logo. He was the front man. You know, and we got to keep it going. Because, like, at a point in time in my life, I wanted to say fuck all this shit. Was it after he died? It was exactly after he died. I wanted to say fuck all the fuck this music. Fuck, fuck all this shit. Let's let's just hey. I just I don't even know what the fuck to say, man. It's yeah. just like I wanted to get this shit up. But I kept going. I kept going. I couldn't stop because I felt like my brother, my brother and my best friend died in the studio. If niggas nip for niggas that don't know. They died in the studio. The same studio we put in together and built up together. That same studio. So from them down in that studio, we gotta bring the life, our music. We can't give up. Everybody wanted to get this shit up. Then nobody wanna keep doing this shit. But it's in our heart. We had to keep doing it. Man it came to a point in his life, real shit. It came to a point where man was like, fuck this shit, he putting in too much money, we ain't getting nothing out of it. But at the end of the day, we was getting exposed, we was getting seen. Yeah. But that wasn't enough when you putting in your money and you don't really know the game and just jumping in. Yeah. We all wanted to give up. I'm not giving up. I'm going to give this shit my all. I'm going to give this shit a go. I'm going to do this shit for man. I'm going to do this shit for slap. I'm going to do this shit for Marcus, CJ, my auntie, my cousin, Shrimp, Kelbo, Sid. I'm going to do this, man. Trust it. I'm going to do this. My nigga, I'm going to tell you something. I appreciate you taking the time to even spit with me like that, for real. Straight up. I stand here, you know, you got to excuse me because I'm overwhelmed, you know, sometimes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't listen to what people tell me. Yeah. You know, like the whole, I don't even, I didn't even know how they died, blah, blah, blah. You know, you, you hear little bits and pieces, but I ain't realize that nigga died in the very studio y'all built. So I take my hat off to you to be able to even keep floating writing rhymes. I'm going to tell you why I say that, nigga. Vic. Vic was paralyzed. Yeah, Vic. M-O-E. So what I'm telling you is personal. I relate to you on some personal shit. I'm sitting in Atlanta with big paper. I'm chilling. But when that nigga got paralyzed, fuck music. That's how I felt. Yeah. On some real shit. Everybody will tell you that. that I shit, said that. That shit hit home. Yeah, that shit hit home. That yeah. shit, man. Especially when somebody you care about. Yeah. Somebody you used to being with, used to calling you every day. I spun every day with that nigga. Every every day with We him, live bro. together. Me, my brother, and man. Me, my brother, man, and Trey, we live together. Yeah. We live together. We couldn't even stay in the same house. We moved up. All we doing waking up every morning crying for four days straight. So we got the fuck up out of there. Man, slap. I swear I'm going through a lot. My niggas, right. my family. I swear I'm going through a lot. My brothers. Huh? Get it out. What? That shit you be coming up with. That's what they want to know. How you cooking that shit up? What a day like for you though, for real, on, on some real shit. A day, a day like for me is, I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, thank God. I know it sounds like a rap song or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, thank God for waking me up. You know, we now over at Hustle Hard we got our own t-shirt printing company and CD duplication company. We wake up, I wake up and try to get customers on that. Printing up shirts, we just printed up like that is shirt today. I got your order coming. Probably to get it together. You know what I'm saying? All right. Printing up those shirts. I got my own vacuum cleaning company, so you might catch me cleaning carpet. I drop my boy off in the van so he can clean some carpet. You know, holler at us. TNL cleaning services. Hit me up. Um, 
slide to the studio soon, man. How much time? How much time you spend in the studio? I say out of a week. I say seven days out of the week. I'm gonna spend my six of them days at the studio. Even if I'm not recording, I just feel so at home. I'm in an hour a day. Like, about 15. <laughs> about 15 hours. About 15. So, I, I, I you come must love the shit. Be, you must love the shit beyond. Yeah, so, so old. Let me get I'm going to be at the studio about 12 o'clock that afternoon. I'm going to wake up about 7 o'clock. I'm going to be here at 12 to motherfucking 7 that morning. <laughs> yeah. For real, I might not even go to sleep. How many shows a year you think you're doing? I say right now, at this pace, about 30. 30. I need a lot more. So if that that some niggas doing 30 a month. When that new single <laughs> drop, then that, that, that's going to go, that's going to shoot up quick. It got to shoot up What's up with the new single? Who it produced got it? to. Where y'all releasing it at? Y'all know y'all going to the digital world. Where y'all going to put um, it at? New single, we got that. That um that boat gunner featuring on um, DT and gunplay, that trap sheet. We're gonna release that on iTunes, you can get it on SoundCloud, thatpill.com. I got my single Get It Off, you can get that on iTunes, you can get that on that Piff SoundCloud, you know. You can just just when we get this website together, like we got a certain time limit, we're trying to get everything right. That website, if we get it together in the next 30 days, everything gonna be on one site. And you can go to all those different sites from my site. You know, so, you so a day, you spend the whole day doing that, then you gonna make it. Yeah, the one thing about it, the business first. On your name, on your music, on your beat, on your music. So you don't really do commercial records, do you? <laughs> no, I went. I'm gonna tell you why I say that in a minute, though. Watch. I don't. I don't do commercial records because I wouldn't say I don't do commercial records. It's just the music that I do is I feel like it's the, what's gonna make or break me, and that's what I'm gonna stay true to is is the type of music I make and the type of music I'm used to making. Yeah. And I rap for I rap for the people around me. I rap for the people I grew up with, the people I don't know who I want to like my music. Yeah. Coming from my vibe. So, whoever pick up on it, I thank them at the end of the day. And whoever don't, they will eventually. You gonna like one song, cause I'm gonna make something for you. So I'm gonna tell you like this here. I, uh, I think everything you just said is true, cause I found out about you on, uh, that. watching the, the video. You sitting in front of the, you know, the computer, it came on. I hit play, cause I ain't no hater, so I hit play. Yeah. Now, I knew about your pride, but I ain't know about the music. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm listening to it. And I can tell from the way you spit from being around this shit forever. I said, this nigga here spit from the soul. You know what I'm talking about? Damn and right. that's why I say, if you don't make commercial records, nigga, you are helping yourself out. I'm from, I'm one of the original members of the 904 Click. Yeah. And I can tell nigga inside and outside of this motherfucking business. Yeah. And the one thing I try to tell a nigga from day one, do not be trying to pay for no features. Yeah. Trying to make what you hear on the radio, nigga, because that shit gonna change next week. It, and I, I give them the speech about being. Hey, you know one thing about it? Everything huh. you hear on the radio sound the same. Exactly. <laughs> Cut that down a little bit for me. Everything yeah. you hear sound the same. So, that when you made that choice, that's a choice you make. Because when you first started, I'm pretty sure you was you coming at it like that too. Uh, it ain't it ain't like it happened on purpose. It's just it's just me. Well, yeah, yo, yeah, you right, you right, you really is right. You made I the made choice. a choice yeah. to stay true to my music, exactly. and that's my choice, and that's the type of music I make, and I want people to feel it. You um, you think you made the right choice? I think I made it. I know I made the right choice. You know you did. I know I made the right choice. I do too, because when I look at your fan base. The fan base that you got, the people, yeah. they're going to be with you. Versus yeah. the nigga who makes some shit he really don't want to make. Yeah. Then he got a fan this week and then the next week. The machine he, make you make. Exactly. <laughs> and then some shit. The machine. Yeah. You done had your experience with the machine then. Yeah. I know a little bit about the machine. What you think about the motherfucking machine? Because the machine done been changed. The machine can make up break you. And me, I want to come in already... 
already solidified, already together, already producers on deck, already album ready, mm. already the image is what you see, what you get. You can't change nothing back. The only thing you can do is put it in the stove. That's that's how I want to come in with it. So I gotta prove the the machine and everybody that I'm making my music for that I'm somebody who you want to listen to. Versus going in asking them for something. I'm I'm somebody I'm somebody who already doing numbers without no help. And who going to do numbers eventually. Who going to do big, big numbers to get done. Mm -hmm. Ain't no money like show money. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Ain't no money like show money. So you picked all this up from well. Hustle Hard even down down. How long? Hustle, hustle Hard was really, I said, I, I was born in Hustle Hard. Okay. We, we all brothers and family some sort of way. Okay. You know, but I came up on the... And I'm going to give them all, all their props and respect. I came up on the Fresh Start Records. Up on the Chris Act and up on the Daddy Clee. Daddy Clee, rather. And Daddy Clee was down with um, Chris Act at Fresh Start. And we all linked up together. And I learned the game from over there. Just sitting back, watching what they was doing and how they was doing it. And the, and the bad and the good. I took it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. And man, Clee, we still best friends to this day. Still getting it in. Still making it happen, still on the road. He on the road right now. Shout out to Clee. Shout out with your nigga. Project Baby. Um, when you picked all that up, you figured you do what? You keep it G, get you some underground money. Like you said, I heard you say something about show money. I figure, I figure I'd do what I finally wanted to do. And when I do it, I know what to do and not to do. Mm -hmm. And do it the right way. Yeah. And I, I learned that from over there. Rather, some people speak, talk about it this type of way, that type of way. I learned a lot from over there. <laughs> you are. Uh, you, you, you figure nowadays you got more access to the people. You can talk directly to your fans. You feel me? Whole mm -hmm. new world versus niggas trying to come up and do this here Man, 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah. You can get to California, New York, Las Vegas, Georgia, everywhere from by the click of a finger. Just like that. A click of a finger. It's on the live mixtapes, that piff, Screet Heat, all these different mixtape sites that's available to the world. Anybody from their house can get on there and pick you up just that fast. That's why, like, like they say, the record sales declining. Yeah. You got to really sell yourself these days if you want somebody to go in because they can get right on the internet. Boo boo, they got your whole shit from somebody else, not even from you. <laughs> yeah. Took us what? Took us what, about seven seconds to pull you up the other day? Like I was that. on the phone with you, like, I'm on here right now. Doo -doo, boom, you was on there. I heard my music in the background. Yeah. I said, man, that shit crazy, just that bad. That's, That's why I girl. love the internet. Yeah. It gets you to the markets you can't reach. So now the whole niggas know why I, don't, I do not be want to talk when they call me. <laughs> Dog, they call me all the time, be like, bro, where you say it's at? Because, nigga, I'm sitting in front of something where I can touch you. Yeah. A phone. I got something, nigga, I can reach out and touch you right then. What you say it is, cuz? Straight up. Nigga trying to tell you how to spell it and all that shit, man. Look, send me the motherfucking link. Let me click the button and see what you talking about, man. Yeah. When I wanted to hear some more DT records, you click. I had my life in my hand in yeah. less than seven seconds, nigga. Yeah. Shit. Do you hear me, bruh? In less than six, actually, you heard the nigga. He yeah. could hear it in the background while he talking about it. Before he can finish it telling me, they, tell me who the feature is, nigga. I got you. So the, the label's like that too. Dog, you can send a record to any label right now. Have an A&R meeting with any label right now. You're going to get 30 seconds of play, dog, before they decide. And that's Skype a motherfucker, too. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't even got to fly to L.A. no more. We can set up a visual meeting right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Now, isn't that the truth, man? So if you, if you laid out DT to a nigga, would you rather him listen to the records or would you rather the nigga tell you? Or, you know, rather you tell a nigga. I want, I, the, I want the nigga to listen to the music. Because you listen to the music, you're going to get me. Yeah, I was I'm noticing a, that by the way. I'm going to be 100 all the way through. Like you were saying, mm -hmm. everything sounds like I'm telling a story. Yeah, sounds like a story, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to do. Like a, a female told me the other day, she was like, one thing I like about your music is... You go back to that old school Master P U G K shit. You telling stories, verse for verse, and at the end of it, I'ma get the what, what they call it in school, the plot, the set, the main idea. You gonna get all that from me? Get all that, baby. <laughs> Remember good old English. Mm, you gonna get all that? For real, for real. I'ma give you a piece of me on this one. DT, nigga. Let you see who fuck I am.
Where the fuck I come from? Ain't no more food in the refrigerator. My ribs is touching, pockets empty, my mama working. I'm needing something, my daddy, he on child support. So we ain't nothing, I gotta get it, my damn self. I'm forced to hustle, we done moved to the north side. I'm from sweet water, and my mama like to get high. But still, I love her, this new school got my mind tied. I'm talking butler, after lunch, I was getting high. I be like, fuck it, skipping with my partner, them I used to have a lot of them. Nowadays, I'm Running by my damn self, my circle thin.